Ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world steeped in tyranny and terror, where gays are hanged from cranes in Tehran, political prisoners are executed in Gaza, young girls are abducted en masse in Nigeria, and hundreds of thousands are butchered in Syria, Libya, and Iraq. Yet nearly half, nearly half, of the UN Human Rights Council's resolutions focusing on a single country have been directed against Israel, the one true democracy in the Middle East. Israel, where issues are openly debated in a boisterous parliament, where human rights are protected by, the, by independent courts, and where women, gays, and minorities live in a genuinely free society. The human rights The UN, it's an oxymoron, the human, UN Human Rights Council, but I'll use it just the same. The Council's biased treatment of Israel is only one manifestation of the return of one of the world's oldest prejudices. We hear mobs today in Europe call for the gassing of Jews. We hear some national leaders compare Israel to the Nazis. This is not a function of Israel's policies. It's a function of diseased minds. And that disease has a name. It's called anti-Semitism. It is now spreading in polite society where it masquerades as legitimate criticism of Israel. For centuries, the Jewish people have been demonized with blood libels and charges of deicide. Today, the Jewish state is demonized with the apartheid libel and charges of genocide. Genocide. In what moral universe does genocide include warning the enemy civilian population to get out of harm's way or ensuring that they receive tons, tons of humanitarian aid each day, even as thousands of rockets are being fired at us? or setting up a field hospital to aid their wounded. Well, I suppose it's the same moral universe where a man who wrote a dissertation of lies about the Holocaust and who insists on a Palestine free of Jews, Judenrein, can stand at this podium and shamelessly accuse Israel of genocide and ethnic cleansing. In the past, Outrageous lies against the Jews were the precursors to the wholesale slaughter of our people. But no more. Today, we, the Jewish people, have the power to defend ourselves. We will defend ourselves against our enemies on the battlefield. We will expose their lies against us in the court of public opinion. Israel will continue to stand proud and unbowed.